how do how can homeowners if if they have a designer if they don't have a designer how do you source and find the materials that people see on hgtv you're driving through the streets of austin you're like that's such a cool door Mm -hmm. like where do people source this stuff that they like i will say a reverse google image search is your best friend so if you have a picture of something or a screenshot or you take a picture you can put it in the google image reverse search really it's pretty awesome. And it, if it's a photo from online, oftentimes it will take you to Pinterest. the source. Yeah, or <laughs> Pinterest most of the time. Yeah. And then you can find out where the tile or the whatever is from that way. We use that tool quite a bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Reverse, because, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people are like, do you just find designers and then you find on Instagram and then you have to find their suppliers. And then you can't just find a supplier because you have to find the installer. Because a lot of times people's like on on high end stuff for sure, Mm -hmm. suppliers will not sell the materials unless it's to a certified installer who can warranty the work Mm -hmm. or warranty the the piece. Yep. In those cases, you're just probably going to look for a good dupe. A good dupe. A good dupe. (laughs) And what is Lots out there. Yeah. Just like a hack, just a. Yeah. A good duplicate, something that's going to be the same look for less. Yeah. I mean, with the Google reverse search and honestly with just the popularity of people sharing their projects and influencers and all of those kinds of people are sharing a lot of their sources online a lot of the time for free which is a resource for people who are kind of DIYing the design part okay Mm -hmm. do you have any places that you go like that you you respect their their duplicates or oh this is a mid-grade like this website or this company I really like their stuff they they mock high-end things that's a good question i end up sourcing all over the place really when it comes so i don't really have just a single source kind of just depends on the look and the specific thing i know i'm giving you such non-answers no to good uh, questions (laughs) let let me defend you too because for like if if a listener's hearing you you deflect like i have these discussions i've had them with several interior designers and everybody is the same. It's not a, a desire to hide or to keep secret. It's yeah. one of the value adds of hiring a de- an interior designer is there's tons of legwork. Yes. A lot of the design, a lot of what you see on HGTV, a lot of like when you go to a house that is, it's just, some of it is truly one of a kind. Mm-hmm. Some of it is reclaimed. Some of it is hours and hours at antique malls. Yes. It's hours on Instagram. It's a building a personal network. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, when I started building homes, I, I genuinely thought, you know, gosh, there's gotta be a database. Hey, I'm a builder. Hey, what's the buy-in? What's the subscription? Give me a login. And I get into this net. No, it doesn't exist. Right. So as an interior designer, a lot of your work is just clicking, scrolling, figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, looking back or what we did, what we, what did we do previously? Or, you know, we went to market, we saw this, we were inspired and we're, we're just looking at design and homes all day long. So we're just seeing a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that just, you know, that's pretty, um, it's worth something for sure. 